The Inner Harbor, a homicide scene after two people were shot, one died, and another was found with a graze wound to their head, all under 17 years old. An 83-year-old woman reading in bed, struck by a stray bullet, piercing her window. A pregnant woman gunned down in her car. A crime scene so active, investigators running out of evidence markers after more than 60 rounds were fired, hitting four people. And a high school student killed after celebrating his junior prom. Just some of Baltimore's violence in the last few weeks. Right now, the results around public safety are not acceptable. Councilman Eric Costello, chair of the City Council Budget Committee, looking for a new an immediate plan to stop the bloodshed, demanding the police department and mayor's office of neighborhood safety and engagement to offer up solutions before the budget process begins next week for those departments. I'm very hopeful that Mayor Scott has directed those two agencies to take this request seriously. Costello not naming names when it comes to who's at fault, but previously putting on a statement saying to ensure safety, it quote, may require a change in personnel if the current results are not sufficient. If we're not talking about the police commissioner specifically, do you think there are other personnel changes that need to be looked at specifically when we're talking about Monzi? I, look, I think that when you talk about the, the state of public safety in the city of Baltimore, we are failing right now. Uh, and we have to do things differently. Uh, everyone has ideas on that, right? Uh, but at some point, changes need to be made. What those changes are, uh, are not up to me. Those changes are up to the mayor. Our job is to have oversight of these agencies and bring to the attention of the executive branch. While Costello calls for action now, Councilman Ryan Dorsey voicing opposition to a short-term crime plan. Writing on Twitter, three to five years is the minimum to see results, adding, quote, if you are demanding or promising dramatically different outcomes in 6 to 12 months, then you are an unserious and unrealistic person. Costello says he supports the mayor's five-year holistic approach to crime fighting, but two things can be true at once. I think anyone who says a short-term crime plan is short-sighted is being short-sighted themselves. Ultimately, Costello says the short-term crime plan is necessary. Will help give us, as well as our constituents, an assurance that there's a plan in place to deal with the spike in crime that we know we are going to see in the summer in Baltimore City. But for Baltimore, the violence isn't new, begging the question. Why come out with this request now? We've seen 300 homicides for seven years in a row now. What was the breaking point for you? I, I think it was the brazenness of the crimes that we've experienced over the last month and a half. I mean, at what point do we say enough is enough and government must intervene to stop the bloodshed?